If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glisten Elf, recording with... Teddy Guevara. Yes, thank you, my friend, for uh, doing a deck tech with me. No problem. This is uh, Cord Elves, right? Cocoa yep, Elves? Cocoa Elves. All right, so let's get so, started with the non-lands. So the non-lands, so go here first. So yeah. we have a four of uh, the Quarter Callings, a Ravnica set. Oh, yeah, excellent. The old art, I think, yeah. is better. <laughs> That's just me, man. And then we just head on to the... Yeah, oh, so Elvish Eulogist. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the one you sacrifice it, you gain one life for each elf in your graveyard. Yes, sir. Uh, is that a, a meta call because of how much burn there is in... <laughs> The um, meta here at Dragonstar? Yeah, here in Dragonstar, there's a lot of um, burn and path to exile in the meta. Mm -hmm. So many in the community uh, stated to put El SS, SS Warren yeah. over Eulogis, but I was just thinking more of the meta call for um, having Eulogis in the... Okay. And then art, too. Just Yeah, it's uh -huh. lovely. So we have four of her. Four Elvis Eulogis. Now that yeah. says something. Four of them. All right. And then we have the traditional uh, Mandadorks, so Elvish Mystic, That's FNM right. Promo. Now, you're running the Eulogist in place of another dork mm -hmm. like uh, Llanowar Elves, right? Yes, sir. Fair enough. And then... That, that says something. Yep. Then we have the Heritage Druid. All right, um, classic. From Morningtide and EMA. And, and we can't have Heritage Druid without her good friend, Nettle Sentinel. <laughs> yep. From the evening tie set. Mm -hmm. And this relatively recent inclusion, mm -hmm. Dwynin's Elite? Mm -hmm. So, in conjunction with the Heritage Druid, if I could get her to be a my turn one play, and then this my turn two play next turn... Then you can just go straight into straight three into mana. Straight into my three mana. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's good. So, we have the traditional four of her... Mm -hmm. I say relatively recent. Origins, yeah. you know, it's like a year and a half ago now. Mm -hmm. more, a little more than that. Is it? Mm. I think so, because it yeah. pretty much just rotated. And then I have the two of Elvish Visionary. Mm -hmm. And then the recent inclusion of... Nissa Vastwood Seer. Mm -hmm. Alright. So... I wanted to try something out with the Planeswalker, um, since she's a flip one from the Origin set, and she's um, only 3 CMC, yeah. um, this helps me with getting the basic 4 of mine. And I know that as an Elves player, usually if you ever make it a long game, you're mm -hmm. kind of screwed because Elves don't tend to play the long game well, but yeah, she gives you something to do later on, right? Yep. Yeah, so like if they keep wrathing his board and killing all his Elves, mm -hmm. Nissa turn into a Planeswalker. Yeah. Now see, the funny thing with that is that they could, in response to her flipping, they could either burn her or pass to exile. Yeah. So, if players do that against my Nissa, then I'm technically cannot flip her into yeah. her planeswalker. So, um, many don't know this, but if you have like a fetch lane yes. in your land base, that's right. You could, in response to them trying attempting to kill your Nissa. You could just fetch in response. That's right. And then just do the um, flip. So trigger it again. Yep. All right, so how many arch druids are we running? Uh, we're running the four of. All right, good, good. And then shaman of the pack. Yes, now this is a lovely, lovely um, creature because um, if you Coco for two of these, they see each other come into play at the same time. That's right. And they do double drain or mm -hmm. Sorry, excuse me. Double loss instead of drain. Because if you say drain, they'll think you are gaining life. Yeah, so like if you had Shaman of the Pack and one other any elf, say mm. like Visionary, it would only be one. But yeah. if you get both of them, then it's two times two, so it's four. So it it's pretty substantial. And then we're running uh, at least three, right? Four? Four of. Okay. And then here's my good buddy. Oh, Azuri. Yep. Well, right. from the mirror, didn't it? Or, no, excuse me, that's not Meriden. That's uh, Scars. Scars. Scars are Meriden. Scars are Meriden. There we go. Now, uh, here's the ace for ourselves. Alright, so four cords and four cocos. Mm -hmm. 
Now, cord is for when I need like an immediate um, Arsturid or Shaman of the pack. Yeah. This lets me look at uh, top six. Top Creator six. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Top six and put two into play. Mm -hmm. So that's where I can either put two, two of um shaman, two of Dwenin, or whichever three yeah. CMC I get come across with, and then. And then Crater Hoof as the was oh, one of the win cons. So you yeah. can win through just swarming them. You could win with Azuri going off, mm -hmm. or you could win with Crater Hoof Behemoth mm -hmm. or Shaman, I guess. Yeah, because if I could get them down to two and gu guarantee either one or two of these, yeah. then that gets me game. Okay. But yeah, yeah, I dig it. Yeah, so this is my build in particular. And then for the land base, mm -hmm. uh, we are rocking. Uh, two uh, Nyctos, was it? Yep. Two Nyctos. Okay. Seems good. I hear Devotion's pretty good in Elves. Yep. One, One Pendlehaven. Yeah. Pendlehaven. <laughs> Pendlehaven. Uh, we run the Four of Gidleaf Palace. Good. Um, just for the Shaman. Um, but I could basically reveal any Elf. I get to play that turn in particular. And just keep it on tap. Makes sense. And you have black answers in the sideboard too, right? Uh, oh, yes, of course. We'll get to that in a bit. Yeah. So, Cavern of Souls is a big thing in this elf deck because mm -hmm. of Grixis control or any type of blue oh, blue yeah. control. Yeah, when I was here just this past Sunday, I played Grixis Delve and then Grixis Delver back yeah. to back. There's a lot of blue here. And then we run... Four, seven. Seven lands just for in case... Oh, path to exile. Okay. Uh, no fetches for the Nissa trick? Ah, uh, no fetches for the Nissa trick because I can't afford one. <laughs> uh, fair enough. And then for sideboard answers. Uh, let me organize this a bit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go for it. All right. So we have the Reclamation Sage for Affinity. Mm -hmm. um, basically, um, get back anything that I have used. Yeah. So for, for any the... day. It's basically for any decks that I need okay. to get my answers again. More attrition games. And... Yep. Uh, Spell Sky, that's for me. <laughs> well, in effect, but basically I'm more concerned with Burn than Infect. That's true. Um, Ball of Nylea, because I seem to not have it for Affinity, and I'm like, why don't I have this for Affinity? Because of the modes they have in here. Yeah, so there's all your attacking creatures get Death mm -hmm. Touch, and then... The last mode is just Swiss Army Act, right? Yeah. It's a so it's put plus one, plus one on a uh, creature, plus one, plus one counter, um, deal two, two to a target creature flying, or I gain three life or put four up to four cards from a graveyard to the bottom of my library. So in the Affinity match, this is there for like Ink Moth Nexus mm -hmm. and Vault Scourge and Ornithopter, right? Or I could get rid of the Arcbound Ravager that way too before... Well, it doesn't have well, flying though, right? No, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, it's all good, dude. Yeah, so... So, I have an Elvish Champion in here. Uh, this is for any any type of deck that runs green, so basically Abzan, Jun... The Mirror. The Mirror, if anything. Yeah. But also, this affects their elves as well. Mm -hmm. That's the... Oh, yeah. it's el other yeah, elf other creatures. Other elf creatures, yeah. Oh, maybe not then. <laughs> yeah, so... Stay in the mind... So my initial focus with Stay in the Mind was um, against Mardu Nahiri, mm -hmm. or basically anything that I need to get rid of. Um, for example, Condemn, Path to Exile, Lingering Souls, yeah, and whatnot. Very good because this also helps with the Convoking. Yeah, that's some really good tech for elves. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen this enough at all. Yep, because well, yeah. it's the same. It's the same as my um, Quarter Calling, but yeah. this taps for one black as well. Uh, scavenging news. If I need to get rid of creatures, say living in, sure. Uh, reanimator. Reanimator. I wouldn't say much uh, as a mirror, but this helps out a lot. Does it help? In I mean, do you bring it in for the burn match? Just oh, for oh little of life course, gain? yes, for yeah. the little life gain. I mean, but that's why I also run the. <laughs> Speaking of the yeah, burn match. That's why I also run the double kitchen things. Good, good. Because um, persistence is a big thing in my deck. Mm -hmm. um, if you get to kill it once, I gain four life. Or if you, um, bad to path to exile, 
but it's still good to the burn matchup. All right, now pop quiz for you. How do you pronounce its type? Ophi. 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 Okay. <laughs> LJ. <laughs> Okay, I run two dismembers um, if I need to get rid of a creature that I don't like or a creature that I see as a big threat to my deck. Sure. Um, I just use pay the four life or pay with the yeah, Gitleaf you have palaces. Black, so yeah. yeah, you can do that. But this is this is in case if I don't have um the Gitleaf palaces in play. Sure. And I guess yeah. Infect also. Yeah. Yes, big time for Infect. But I, I don't think I run this against Infect as much because they have uh, ways to give it Hexproof. Well, you don't care about the life loss from Dismember. You can yeah. always just pay the one mana. Agree. Yeah. Uh, to Dismember. Uh, oh, to to <laughs> You're good, dude. Yeah. You're good. That's my fault. <laughs> yeah, so to Erupt Decays, uh, this is for um, instant removal of bigger threats, um, say in Affinity. Get rid of their um, cranial planings. Oh yeah. Um, get rid of um, any infect creatures. Sure. And then. And big the one. Oh, yeah. And then oh man. Yep. For <laughs> this is for the my artifact matchups um, or affinity matchups in that case, yeah. because of the bonus that comes with it, gain two life for each artifact or in shaman. Well, I guess to say this is also good for lantern control as well. Yeah, if you get up to five mana, uh, which your deck can do with all the, the mana dorks and the heritage druids running around, that's instant speed, uh, creeping corrosion, and back to nature put together, yeah. and you gain life. Yep. So yeah, that's that's pretty good, dude. I dig it. Yep. Excellent on the From the Vault ones as well. Yeah. From the Vault Annihilation, was it? Um, yeah, I believe yeah. so. Yeah. All right, well, I, I appreciate it, Teddy. You the man. You the man. Uh, you the man, Jay. Yeah. You the man, T1.